Looking back reveals the future. The miracle of Japanese manufacturing. This humble wooden block has been carefully preserved, an unlikely symbol of Japanese craftsmanship, without which the development of a world-famous Japanese product would not have happened. The story begins at Sony in 1983. This block of wood became the world's first portable CD player. It was a model built to realize a player 1 16th the size of the original CD player. The company excelled in compact technology. Then there's this 2.1 meter tall by 1.3 meter wide large box. It's the very first quartz clock designed by Seiko in 1959. Quartz is crystal. A quartz clock uses crystals in its mechanism. Following the war, the majority of wristwatches were spring-powered, which caused the correct time to deviate by up to a minute a day. But the margin of error using quartz is only about 0.2 seconds, thanks to crystal technology. Here's how it works. When electricity passes through crystal, it oscillates precisely. A quartz watch uses this oscillation to measure a second. The company wanted more and more people to use these accurate quartz watches. In 1959, they began branching out into miniaturization. They miniaturized not only the crystals, but all clock parts, and in just four years had created a desktop-sized clock. Six years later, they had miniaturized even further. Seiko had made the world's first quartz wristwatch. Currently, quartz accounts for 98% of the world's total watch production. This streamlined technology was passed on to current watchmakers, and Japan-born quartz technology is now the world standard in watches. This is a mechanical doll made in the Edo era, approximately 300 years ago. The doll can take an arrow and fire it at a target by itself. Its roots are said to have derived from float displays at festivals in the central region of Japan. The parts of this doll, said to have derived from spring technology used in clocks, total 450. Such precision existed even during the Edo era, 